every corner of Virginia Beach. We're talking about car break-ins, dozens and dozens of them. Reed Andrews has more tonight, new at 11. Kenny Kilhammer's mom is in the hospital with cancer. Friday, a backpack with her purse and valuable keepsakes was stolen from his car on Budding Avenue in Virginia Beach. That was the, what my, my dad's passed on a year ago, and that's what my mother carried around, you know, to piece of my dad still around, and, uh, and somebody, somebody took it. Fortunately, he was able to find the backpack with her purse, along with other stolen items like this video camera in a field near his house. Still, he's angry about what happened. Been pilfered there, you feel really violated, you know. It's supposed to, you're supposed to be, have the comfort of home. Beach police say car break-ins like this are becoming all too frequent. Lindsay Nathaniel lives down the road from Colehammer. She was patrolling the neighborhood late Friday night when she saw a couple young men break into his minivan. Hey, what are you guys doing? And then they started sprinting, and we were able to follow them right to their car and um, able to get the license plate and call the police. Nathaniel's not just a witness, but a victim. Both of her cars were hit last month. Nobody likes the feeling that somebody's in their belongings. When News Channel 3 first reported on the wave of car break-ins that have hit the beach, we asked police what neighborhoods were being targeted. They said it was incredibly widespread and is becoming more common throughout the city. Last week, police arrested Torian Bond, Miles Grillo, and Jesse Noak. The trio is believed to be tied to at least 22 car break-ins in the Heritage Park neighborhood. Police are looking into whether the three are responsible for any more car break-ins in the area, and they could face more charges. In the control room, Reed Andrews, News Channel 3. At 11, a police chase started.